When someone closes a door in your face, all you have to remember is when God allows them to close the door in your face, all God wants you to do is walk up the hall. It's some more doors. You just got to walk up the hall because I can promise you he got a better door that he wants you to go through than the one that got shut in your face. That's a fact. But what happened to people is they stand there beating on the door. Open it back up. We're going to do a write-in campaign. Why are you leaving? I got to have my job. What about my benefits? Hey, stop. The door is closed for a reason. I'm going to curse the door on you going back. You will never be able to get back to who you were. The people who used to help you will not help you. The people who used to be there wouldn't be there. I'm going to shut the door on you going back to being who you were, and you're going to have to grow up and go forward because I have shut the door on going back. I don't know who I'm preaching to, but I'm talking to somebody. When you, when God really has interest in you, he will shut the door on going back. He will close the Red Sea so you can't miss Egypt and go back for the onions and end up with the handcuffs. We remember the onions of Egypt. We forgot we were slaves. You remember the good things about him, but you forgot the hell he took you through. And God says, I'm gonna shut the door. Oh God, I gotta stop and take a minute and forget about you. Cause when I start thinking about shut doors, I have to praise him for all the doors that he shut in my life. Thank you for the friends that rejected me. Thank you for the people that said no. Thank you for the people who walked out of my life. If I'd have stopped there, I would have missed my destiny. But every time you wanted to shut a door, it was because you had something better for me. If you understand what I'm saying, give God a praise right now. Please open it back up. Help me, my family, stop. Go up to hall, man. These people that close doors in your face, they ain't the only door. They ain't the only door. God is the creator of all doors, man. I'm just gonna see what else he got for me. We've all had times where something didn't work out. We didn't get the promotion. The loan didn't go through. A relationship didn't make it. We did our best. We prayed, we believed, but the door didn't open. And the scripture says, God opens doors that no man can shut, and he shuts doors that no man can open. Here's the key. God is your doorkeeper. People can't keep you from your purpose. Obstacles can't stop what God has ordained for you. And you may feel like you're behind a closed door. In your health, you can't seem to get well. In your career, you're working hard, but not getting ahead. In a relationship, things keep falling through. Stay encouraged. Those closed doors are not permanent. The enemy doesn't control your doors. People don't control your doors. Fear, addiction, depression don't control your doors. And I believe you're about to see some doors that have been closed for a long time suddenly open. You can't explain it, you didn't see it coming, but suddenly your health improves. Suddenly you meet the right person. Suddenly your career takes off. What happened? The doorkeeper stepped in. Get ready for some open doors.